my loves welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel welcome to my living room we are going to be vibing once again if you guys hear any noise in the background I have chickens I have two dogs and an ice machine that's currently about to drop ice I think and also a squirrel that is enjoying a snack right outside my window so I'm not entirely sure what the message is today. I just know that I'm open and receptive and ready to give to you a message, hopefully, that meets you with beautiful divine timing. So I ask in this moment, divine, that you sit with us, you be present with us, as you always are, but you make your, your message known. What is it that is to be received from this moment, this time? with the collective what is the vibe protect the viewer as they listen and tune in strengthen their discernment so that they know what they are to take away from this message especially if they felt called to listen in right now strengthen my own intuitive gifts so i can deliver with clarity and precision what is meant to uplift heal guide them through right now it's interesting because for some i'm getting a message of reconciliation so it's interesting that that's wanting to come through um let me put my phone on do not disturb wow ten of swords and queen of wands reversed are the first cards to jump out and then we have eight of cups and the Queen of Cups. Interesting here because I actually am getting a strong message about friendships. I'm hearing with Eight of Cups and Ten of Swords for some reason, partners in crime, people that you do that you do things with, that you at one point shared your secrets with, that you like they bring out the youth in you and even as i'm saying that i just looked out the window and i'm watching two squirrels just kind of jumping and playing and helping each other to get to something so there's something about uh feminine energy wanting to come together or strengthening a feminine bond emphasis on feminine energy seven five of wands yeah there might be some conf conflict and tension when it comes to your inner friendship circles, at least that's what the divine wants to talk about right now. Some of you guys may be having to walk away from a connection or friendship, a lot of feminine energy, guys. We have Queen of Pentacles here, Queen of Wands reverse, Queen of Cups upright. It's interesting that the Queen of Wands is here reversed and Five of Wands is here because this signifies that there is bossiness of some sort or ego, ego driven, uh, feminine vibes if there's um the goddess circle like if you have i'm gonna say goddess circle because as friends when they come together there's people that you vibe with and there's people that you connect with and either way whatever it is that that energy looks like you're creating something and for me goddess energy is all about creation are you creating negativity are you creating positivity are you creating pot um like uplifting experiences what is the case and i just feel that for right now there needs to be a break or you need you might need to be severing yourself from certain sisterhood or from a, a sisterhood or something that you would hope to be a sisterhood for some of you guys you might actually feel disconnected from sisterhood so you're wanting to i just heard playground like you're wanting to get on the playground meaning that you're wanting to connect with other like-minded souls and spirits and 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 have like more fruitful friendships and connections it feels like there's an abandonment away from that or too long that you've been disconnected from that or if you have a sisterhood if you have friendship it feels like there's a riff or drama um happening in that within that group that's what the divine wants to talk about today if this is not resonating with you it's possible that this is the aspects of feminine energy within yourself that are having a hard time coming together. There might be parts of you that, I, I don't know why I'm, I am I want to like look back, like there might be parts of yourself that you feel like you left behind as feminine energies, divine feminine. You may feel like there's parts of you that you genuinely, truthfully had to let go of. And um, 
you're wondering like will I ever get them back some of you guys are you I heard the word engagement so I wouldn't be surprised if when there was an engagement a proposal or coming together of something else in your life it ended up splitting you away from your friendships or your more your uh yeah like a playful connection like playful friendships and then so there's that i'm also getting chills up and down my spine so spirit this is spirit confirming me that we're talking about the right thing so thank you divine um but also i feel that if there was something that you partnered with or aligned with it's not that this is a good or a bad thing it just it just it spirit is recognizing the fact that there would have been a connection like you coming into alignment with something or someone else in that process you had to almost disconnect or something was disconnected from you as you were aligning with something else so some of you guys this happened during a proposal or during a relationship being um, stabilized or coming together so that's really interesting others of you guys there's a part of you that the divine wants you to go back and um, reconcile with the part of yourself that felt that feels left behind um, I, I, I keep getting these chills so I, I I believe that there's a message that spirit actually wants to channel for me that I is not going to come through the cards that's always how it works through it's interesting I'm seeing um, okay so sacral and solar plexus energy and root chakra work um, some of you guys you're you're actually going to want to start awakening or you're in the process of an awakening and i'm hearing like there's certain truths as i'm as i'm talking i'm spirit is showing me a book opening up like the a, a book and as they're showing me the book they're showing me chapters this is akashic records for those of you guys that don't know this is the akashic records this is the records of your life if you believe in it if you don't it, it doesn't matter it's it's symbolic it represents the the records of your life that the history that of the lives that you have lived the experiences that you have that you can tell and things that it is that you can't tell and what is to come what is faded so there's this recognition that whatever was left behind um for some of you guys i just heard the word prison so some of you guys might actually have a connection to prison that's very specific some of you guys actually feel imprisoned in this chapter in your life or you're walking out of it a, a, a chapter in your life where you felt very much imprisoned there's something about um incap I, so they're saying in incap incapacitated incapacitated i'm pretty sure that that's a word that means when you are imprisoned and you're you can't something is outside of your control they want to talk about something that's outside of your control um of like you feel powerless or you feel um i just heard a word i just heard a word and then it just bl like flew away like it blew away as soon as it came in it blew out but also that could be a, a message too that there's this happened really quick like it was radical change within your life radical change radical shifts within your life i'm also getting this really strong message that wherever you're at right now you have a lot of guides this is not so much your ancestors. It's it's guides that it is that you're not totally aware of. It's actually very earthy guides, um, elemental guides. So the energy of the earth, the energy of air, water, like it's almost like fairy-like in nature. You have a lot of guides that are trying to, that are helping move things forward and help you to move things forward. And spirit is asking you to. They're saying that they're working hard to gain your trust. Some of you guys have actually lost your trust in along the journey. It's interesting because you're if you do feel imprisoned in some place at this point in your journey, it's it that the fact that you're imprisoned is going to exalt your ability to have faith in the unknown, aka um, the divine and the powers that be, like this undercurrent of energy, this undercurrent of um like like a vibe like energy divine like how the divine or god or the universe or some level of truth that you're going to come and understand i'm also spirit is showing me again like hula hooping or moving the hips moving root chakra so for some of you guys there's um like an activation of knowledge and wisdom that is stirring into life however at the same time there's a, a strong chance that the same growth and transformation that is that you're going through is going to usher in major 
of uh, 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 revelations in the form of what is real for you. Some of you guys, your belief systems are really about to shift and change. For many of you, you're about to, this has been showing up a lot lately, but you're closing out an old chapter in your life and you're about to begin something new. Now spirit is having me uh, go back to talking about your friendships and connections. As soon as I say that, they just, they cut everything off. So there's this emphasis on being really careful about, even as I'm saying this, I almost want to lower my voice and I want to whisper and I almost want to, the energy of like hiding or pulling into myself. So, and that there's, I heard a bubble, like a bubble just pop in my left ear. So there are feminine energies that on, they don't, they're saying understandably so. So spirit is saying it's human nature that they would pray. They're almost praying on what is that you're saying? What is that you're feeding to them? Um, so you, you're going to want to be really cautious about uh, who you're sharing what with at this chapter in your life spirit would almost prefer that you talk about the developments in your life more with the nature spirits there's an emphasis on nature spirits because it's almost as if you when you do that i'm seeing it populating it's almost like spores this is so specific please guys deal with me as i'm channeling but it's almost like spores that pop out and spread the more that you start talking to um earth elements or nature elements that that will grow versus when you talk to a fr friendships or friendship circles or feminine energy it it doesn't it doesn't really go anywhere it's almost like they absorb it and they want more from the situation but they're not giving anything in return i don't feel like this is malicious but it has everything to do with energy and spirit is bringing me right back to saying that this is this current of energy how things work on the in the earth you may not be able to see it but uh, i just heard that there's things that there's like someone who can vouch for this someone who can speak on behalf of this energy someone will at some point cross paths with you and confirm this for you believe me i i'm getting this message really strongly but the, if you it's not that there's people who are trying to take from you especially feminine energies it's that there's an someone or something is absorbing what you are saying, absorbing your process, absorbing your, I just heard temporary blindness. Wow. So that's very specific. They, they, they are gaining from your temporary blindness that you're not able to see. Um, you're not able to see how they're absorbing. There's this, I was going to ask like, what are they doing? I was asking, what are they doing with this information? It's not, they're just like, I don't know if it's like they're taking in drama or they're taking in information, but they're not giving anything back in return in any way, shape, or form. So I, I'm also seeing that you would know that this person, you would, you, you're going to know who this person is or per people are because they don't contribute to your overall energy. They, they don't contribute. When, if Let's say you're meeting them for coffee or doing an event with them or whatever the case is. You don't walk away from it a better person. A part of you actually feels like you did them more of a service by giving them your time, your attention, your energy. So uh, um, begin to st start saying less to them. Um, and also the spirit is trying to usher and I'm really getting this strongly. Like <sighs> very much garden and I'm getting a really strong message would actually wow the moon card you're not gonna be able to see this it's interesting because i was actually at yoga earlier today and as we were i was actually super distracted during my yoga practice because i went with my boyfriend and he, he's gonna probably get, he's not gonna get mad but he'll be like don't say this to the internet but he kept farting during the yoga class and i was dying laughing you guys so it was so hard it was his first time and um it was so funny but towards the end of the class, when I was able to stop laughing, which I'm sure the instructor was like, why are these two here? Like, why are they here? Um, but towards the end of the class, I was lying on in the, you know, corpse pose. And I saw this vision of a black bee, a black bumblebee. And it truly was a metaphor for what is to come. And in our life, if you're open to it, if you're open to this, I see this 
beautiful garden, guys. Like, I see this beautiful garden, and some of you guys are not going to believe me, and that's fine. And by that, I mean, like, this is, I'm saying it, but the divine is saying it to you. You're not going to believe what I'm trying, what is capable, like, of what is capable of happening and occurring, but you have to speak it into existence. And the way to do that is by speaking life into the earth. There is an energy current and life that is actually happening here. It's not only is it healing, but it doesn't stop with healing. It, it, it falls into replenishment. It falls into abundance. It falls into peace. Like it breaks off into all of these magnificent things that we could ever receive at this, at, in our lives. And as drastic and as crazy as life can seem, there is li there's life that's growing here around us. And the divine wants us to be receptive to it, to it. And the truth is, is that for so long, we have been barren of that. We've been void of that. There's been a disconnection within our, from our spiritual selves to our, our physical bodies and our emotional bodies. And the divine is every day finding moment to moment, if you're open and receptive to connecting you back to that lushness. It's taking a barren situation and making it natural and thriving it's a it's a coming back to the higher self a coming back to a, a blessed body a healthy body a health life a healthy life so be really careful about who and what you are stating certain things to because they will absorb but not give anything in return and the divine is saying that it's not supposed to be that way in all the different areas of your life it's one thing if you were being filled up all the time but the truth is, is that you might not be in at least in the eyes of the divine you're not being filled up enough for you to be giving so generously of your time your energy your resources into things that are not equally contributing there comes a time and a place where it's good for you to share your wisdom your your the the, the authenticity of your character the height of your vibes the pureness of your intention the warmth of your heart and your presence there comes a time and a place but not to the detriment of yourself because if you're not careful you as a sensitive being will over give and over exert and find yourself depleted when you could tap deeper into a, a space in this energy like a space in this world that is going to fill you up like a big fresh bubbling brook and that's what the divine wants for you it's time for every single one of us to speak this into our day-to-day -day life, to speak life over even the water that we drink, to be very cognizant, to be very aware of energies of things, and, and to change, radically change. If it's not literally fulfilling you and lifting you up, it's time to move forward. It's time to move on. It's time to close out that chapter because where we are going and where we are being led right now by the hands, by the divine, is such a, a, a beautiful place and such a beautiful space and I can see it and I can feel it and I want that for every single one of you. <sighs> yeah. Spirit just gave me confirmation and let me know that the message has been shared and that it's okay for me to close out. So thank you, Divine, so much. Thank you, Divine, so much. Thank you, Divine, so much for your presence. Thank you so much for your message. Thank you so much for your clarity. Thank you so much for being so generous with your protection with the abundance with your grace with your peace with your protection it is so good here on earth because of you divine i thank you to my angels and my guides i'm infinitely grateful for your wisdom i'm infinitely grateful for your protection continue to look out for every single one of us individually and also together as a collective we are all on this earth just walking each other home i thank you so much for your protection I thank you so much for your presence. Continue to show yourself in all the many different ways that you can. Continue to inspire hope. Let there be change. Let it be positive change. Let every step that they take be blessed. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. The gratitude is so immense within my spirit. I'm just going to sit with this and vibe with this because it is so good and I'm so spaced out right now. 
I feel so good and I, I set the intention that you do as well. We were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find time and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention and alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at Bahati Life, where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.